Peritonitis is um, a bacteria that it infiltrates the gut and causes the gut to get thickened and stops them from absorbing the food. So it's got a lot of production losses. It also will have an effect on their immune system. Um, so animals that have got yonis tend to be um, lame and um, not produce as much milk and that sort of thing as well. So um, it has a huge production loss. So this has to be done annually, so we do it every year. And we also, um, Go on. we test for BVD as well, which is another one our health scheme. There are currently grants available through the Animal Health and Welfare Pathways that allow farmers to get paid for endemic disease control, management and mitigation. The links will be in the description. We're taking the blood from the tail vein, right. which runs very centrally down the tail. Um, and we've got um, a, a vacuum here that's got um, a vacuum in it and a double-sided needle. So um, the needle pierces into the vacuum and um, that's how the blood runs in. Come on, little one, one of you go. Go, 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 go. Front up again, do you think that's the best? With pedigree cattle like this, it makes a big difference to being able to sell breeding stock if we go is negative. It's important that all British farmers follow good biosecurity practices. It's looking just as well as it should do. If you aren't testing already, I'll put links in the description for APHA's Bet Gateway for protocols on Yoni's disease testing. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and follow the channel for more farming advice and tips.